Ah, eu sou querida. Quando a gente é presunctuous, você diz que eles não querem ser presunctuous at all. Our husbands run the country, but if this eat, and this nation is to have moral standards, it is we women who must take charge. Exactly. <laughs> My husband says that she is now the wife of John Eaton, but also the wife of all the other members of Congress. I need some background on her. Oh, Margaret Eaton was the daughter of John and Mary O'Neill, owners of the Hunting Hotel. The vivacious young lady. She was quite precocious. Precocious. <laughs> what a polite word. <laughs> yes. She first eloped at 15. Oh, no, actually, she was only 14. Her father found her and brought her home. Thankfully, she was still a virgin, at least according to her. <laughs> the behavior got worse over time. Then she ran off with another man the following year. Her father found her again. In 1816, John Bowie Timberlake, a former Navy purser, was riding with a friend outside the Franklin House when he saw Margaret through the window. They were married a week later. I remember the house they lived in across from the town. In 1818, the Timberlakes met John Eaton, then a widowed senator who was staying at Franklin House. While Timberlake was away, John Eaton was frequently her companion. Timberlake was able to come home only for short, occasional visits. Margaret gave birth to their daughter, Margaret Rosa. Timberlake went to sea again, this time on a four-year voyage on the U.S. Constitution. He wrote to his wife that if anything happened to him, there was only one man to whose hands she would be willing, he would be willing to trust her, John E. Timberlake, suffering from anxiety and depression, died at sea in April of 1828. Margaret was told that he had contracted and died of pulmonary disease, but his death was a means of suicide. Timberlake had killed himself while in a drunken stupor, supposedly unable to bear his wife's infidelity with his friend, John Eaton. She, she bore a child. Surely it was not Timberlake's. The child was still born. Oh, not so. According to the sermons, she had an abortion. So we have adultery, abortion, infidelity, and betrayal. We must get her out of the White House. Can you imagine having a woman who slept with her husband's best friend while he was at sea? The baby conveniently dies, the husband learned of her infidelity with his best friend and committed suicide. He became the laughing stock of the country. 